Okay, so I'll now we'll come back. Now the next question that we have here is exercise. This is exercise 1.3. And this is question number 3, part A. <coughs> part A. Basically you have the question is as follows. So you have um, estimate the following products using the general rule. So you want to use the general rule in order to do these um, products, meaning multiplication. Right? And so the, the first question is 571 times 161. Right? Now, general rule essentially we said that essentially we said that you would um, um, you would round your numbers to the largest place value for multiplication of course for example 500 571 i could round it to a 570 right i could round this to a 570 and for example 161 i could round it to 160 but then i would have to but then i would have to write the, the multiplication as for example 570 times 160 still it's still i would have to essentially write the numbers as 570 times for example 160 and actually do the calculation so it's not easy to do this so it, when it comes to calculation almost always the rule is to round your numbers to the largest place values in the numbers unless you want basically um, a closer estimate right so instead of writing for example 571 as 570 I'm going to write it as round. I'm going to round it to the hundredth place value, which means that it, the number becomes a 600, right? And then essentially this number, I'm I'm going to again round to the to the hundred to the hundredth place value, which gives me a 200. So here I have to round up because of the six. Here I have to round up because of the 7, both of which are greater than or equal to 5. And now the, and now essentially you see that the calculation becomes easy, meaning essentially the calculation becomes 600 times 200. You can do that in your head. So it's 6 times 2 is equal to 12, and then you have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros over here, so that's 120,000, right? Now, if you do this calculation in your, on your, essentially the actual calculation. So, which is 571 times basically 161. That's 91,931. The actual calculation is, is basically 91,931 right and so the difference essentially is about 30,000 um or about around around 30,000 so it's a it's it's basically it's it's around 30,000 out of 91931 or essentially out of something around 92,000 so it's a it's a pretty large difference and these types of differences you would get in multiplication because in multiplication essentially um, it's not like addition or subtraction meaning that for example a and then 30,000 over 92,000 that would be 30 over 92 right 30 over 92 would be the same as so the difference is around 30 percent right 
with 32 percent 33 percent so this this essentially happens in multiplication i mean this these large differences happen in multiplication because you see that essentially your the number you have rounded to um to the hundreds place value and so all of a sudden out of a 571 you've made a a 600 meaning there is a difference of around 30 over here meaning around 29 so 29 plus 571 is a 600 and that's already 29 times for example times 161 for example meaning the difference becomes essentially already 29 times 161 meaning meaning 29 when you multiply essentially the two numbers together you see what happens here is that if you had for example 1 times 161 it would be 161 if you had 2 times 161 it would be well 2 times 161 3 times 161 4 times 161 so when you have 571 times 161 that is 161 plus 161 plus 161 plus 161 571 times right and when you round your number to a 600 in the case of as a result of which the difference in the multiplication becomes around 29 times more for example then that that's another 29 essentially factors of 161 that you're essentially adding to the number meaning in this case you had 500 meaning in this case you had 161 plus 161 plus 161 571 times right but then when you round the number in addition to the 571 times another 29 times you're adding the 161 more more and more and more and more right so then all of that is going to be essentially added to the to the end result right and of course there is um, there is there is an additional basically around 100 around 40 times meaning 161 is rounded to a 200 so the difference is a 40 so that's another 40 times basically 571 right so all of these are going to be added to the number and then take the add essentially the result of which becomes around 30,000 difference between the numbers between the actual number and the estimated number so that that happens in um in multiplication okay but then the, the the problem with multiplication is there is really no better way to do it unless you unless essentially you you need a better or more accurate essentially a more accurate um, estimate in the case of which then you would have to round the number to essentially to a smaller place value for example to the tens place value but then that doesn't solve any problems meaning that um, meaning that if i if i round the numbers to the tens place value the 571 becomes becomes a 570 161 becomes 160 right of course the difference would not be much meaning that the difference between these numbers would be just a one and just a one so the difference would not be much meaning that the the estimate would be very close but then still you would have to do the operation meaning that still now you have to multiply 57 by for example a 16 and then add two zeros to that of course now 57 times 16 is not easy to calculate you have to write it down and do the calculation right 
So that's the that's the problem with um, with multiplication. Okay. So um, that's that's essentially one part of this question. The second part of this question is um, is basically three part B, which is five thousand two hundred eighty one times three thousand four hundred ninety ninety one. That's five thousand two hundred eighty one times three thousand four hundred ninety one. And again, basically this calculation. Of course, it's not easy to do, but then um, essentially what you can do is that you can you can basically round it round essentially five thousand two hundred eighty one round it to five thousand and three thousand four hundred ninety one. You round it to a three thousand, right? Um, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it would be to round the essentially round three thousand four hundred ninety-one. You can round it to actually to, for example, to 3,500, meaning I'm rounding this number to the thousands place value, but this number I'm going to round to the hundreds place value. And so because of the 9, I'm going to round up. The 4 becomes a 5, but the, the calculation is still easy to do, meaning that instead of writing this calculation, I'm going to write the calculation as 5,000 times 3,500. Now, this is the same thing as 5 times 35, which is the same as uh, 150 plus uh, 25, that's 175, right? So, that's 175, and then I have 3 plus 2, 5 zeros over here. That's 17,500,000. Right? That's 17,500,000. Or essentially one, the same number, essentially you could write it as, the same number you could write it as, essentially you could write it as um, 1, 75, 00, 00, 000. Which is essentially one crore seventy five seventy five lakhs, one crore seventy five lakhs basically. That that's in the Indian system of numeration, right? Now you see over here that you see over here that if I had done this calculation manually, essentially the exact the actual calculation. I would have gotten basically um, 39.41 times basically 52.81, which is basically 20,812,421. Right? So that is. 3,941 times 5,281. This would be essentially 20,812,412,421. Right? So you see there is there is a difference of about three million three million in the in the answer and that's three million out of twenty million right three out of twenty is the same as um, 
That's three million. That's three out of twenty, which is about fifteen percent, which is still a essentially good enough good enough an estimate. Okay, so that's that's all about that. Now part C of this question. So so essentially what you can learn from this example is that essentially when we talked about the rule re related to multiplication we said that essentially every f essentially each of each and every one of these numbers that are multiplied together this is called a factor right so we said that in the case of every factor you would round the factor to the largest place value and then do the multiplication but then you see over here that of course meaning that if i if i had essentially 5281 and in this case you see that i've rounded the number to the nearest thousands if i round the number for example to some place value which is very small for example 5280 right of course doesn't 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 really solve any problems because now i have to do all of this calculation by hand doesn't make any any sense but essentially the closer that you get to the smaller place values the the closer you would you would get to the actual um to the actual result of the calculation but then the problem is that the the the, the calculation becomes impossible meaning that still you would have to do the calculation by hand whereas when you do the essentially this kind this kind of rounding in the case of multiplication you want to be able to do the calculation easily for example in your head or something like that right so now but essentially what what we said was that basically every factor that we multiply together we have to um we have to basically round the number to the largest place value and then do the calculation right and we say to the largest place value because otherwise doing the calculation in your head is not possible or essentially then you would end up doing the the whole calculation essentially by hand which doesn't make any sense right but then in some cases you see that for example this number i'm going to essentially round this number to the thousands place value but then this number i can still round it to the hundreds place value right and and if and even if i did so still the calculation would be feasible meaning that you already know for example in your head you know what is 5 times 35 these types of calculations you 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 should be able to do in your head actually for example what is 5 times 35 that that is something that you should know so that's not a problem so this number essentially I round it to the hundreds place value and then i do the calculation i get um essentially a 17 million 500 thousand still i'm i'm basically around 3 million off from the actual answer but that's the best that you can do in in, in multiplication there is there is no other way okay so that's all about that so part c of this question you have that's three part C, which is 1,291 times 592. Now you see this number, if I, if I wrote it as a 600, meaning that 592, if I round it to the hundreds place value, write it as 600. I'm not going to make much change to the value of the number and still the calculation becomes very easy 
right because um, rounding to the hundreds place value you have to because of the nine you have to round up which means that essentially the five becomes a six and these two digits are replaced by zeros but then 1291 if i round the number for example to even i could even round the number to the hundreds place value without making the calculation unnecessarily difficult or impossible so then this becomes essentially a one and then because of the nine you would round up so this becomes a three and then two zeros so then basically the calculation becomes essentially a 600 times a 1300 which is the same as now what is 6 times 13 that's a 60 and then you have a 18 over here 6 times 3 is equal to 18 that's a 78 right so that's a 78 and then you have 4 1 2 3 4 zeros over here that's a 780,000 right or essentially you can write it as you can write it as seven like eighty thousand seven like eighty thousand whereas if you did if you did the calculation essentially on a the actual calculation that would be essentially twelve ninety one times five hundred ninety two which is seventy six thousand seven hundred which is seven hundred sixty four four thousand so it's very the numbers are actually very close not much difference um around only twenty thousand right so that's the part c of this question now three part d is um, nine thousand two hundred fifty times a twenty nine and um, so 9250 i'm going to round it to for example the 29 i'm going to round to a 30 of course to the tens place value right and then you have to round this number in such a way that the calculation is still possible so if i round it to here which becomes a 9300 the calculation is still easy right um, so or essentially you can round this to a 10,000 you can do that as well but even if you go with the 9300 three times nine is equal to, to so three times 90 is equal to 270 and that's a plus another three times is equal to nine plus another nine so that's 279 right so that's if i wrote so that's 279 so 9300 times a 30 is a 279 and then you have one two three zeros over here right so still the calculation is fairly easy um, and if if you actually did this calculation on a on a calculator that would be for example 9250 times for example 29 which is 268000 so this is the actual calculation would be 268250 this is 279 so that's that's around 280,000 so that's a, that's around 12,000 difference which is not much right still what you could do in the case of this calculation to make it easier if you could afford less accuracy you would write this number essentially 9250 you could write it you could 
round it to the 10,000, to the thousands place value, right? Rounding to the thousands place value, you would um, basically you could write it as a 9000 and then of course 29 you would you would round to the tenth place value that becomes that that would become a 30 and then basically then you would write the calculation as 9000 times the 30 which is the same thing as 27 and then four zeros that's 270000 the actual calculation was 268,250, right? So you see that it's much, much closer, right? So that's, that's basically all about that. Now the next the next part essentially this was part D and that was essentially all that we had here. We are done with this video in the next video we will talk about the rest of this chapter. Thank you.